name's Katie Archibald, I'm a British track cyclist, um, passionate about track cycling, two-time Olympic champion in the Madison and the Team Pursuit. And those are my, those are my big passions, so that's all you have to know. So as long as I've been full-time in this sport, I've been, first of all, really grateful that I, that I was British and that lottery funding, in the same way, there's few, a few nations here that are in a kind of similar position that really opened up that possibility to me in a really big way. Um, and the other things that I've been grateful for is that uh, my career has overlapped with the Madison being introduced as, a, as an event for women in the Olympics. Um, and then also that, that this event exists. Um, and to have all of these things coincide and, and really shape your career in a, a seriously defining way because this is, this is how I want to exist as a professional track cyclist. And this series is the, the path to do that. So thanks for having me. <laughs> thanks for being here. What was it like last year? You were so dominant, I think it's fair to say, really, across the endurance league. How did you find it competing? Um, it's always stressful beforehand. I was actually, these words are in my mind recently, I was just saying it's somebody, but I get intensely nervous beforehand, almost manically confident during. And then it's a little bit sad afterwards. There's just, there's a come down that's inevitable, that I think is worth it for that feeling during, um, which doesn't make you sound like a very nice person, but it feels good, it feels really good. <laughs> so. Um, if you could remind yourself that that happens, you wouldn't feel as nervous, but I never can. So we're still in a nervous phase and I'm just really keen to get, <laughs> to get going. What was the standout for you from last year then? Standout for me is easy. It was the, um, the final elimination race I did with Kirsten. Um, so that was the end of, well, that was her retirement. That was her final race. Um, and she's been such an important role model for me and, and uh, a rival as well. Um, especially with the Madison and, and her and Amy Peters as the the owners of that event, you know, world champions three times in a row, going in going into that Olympic Games, and the the moment of, of coming around that final lap and, and realizing how heavy the moment was for Kirsten, and to be there with her for that, it, it sounds kind of um, I'm not living vicariously, but but it was uh, it was really really special, um, and it's something that I'll just remember forever. You don't need to live that vicariously because you were in that moment and it was a special moment for you as well. I remember so clearly the crowds on their feet raising the roof for you. That was, even just to be in the, the stands for that was incredibly special. Yeah, well, because, and it does, it means something. So that this, cut this if it sounds horrible, but there's part of you who goes, should, should I have let her, like, should she have won her final race, you know? But it, the thought didn't occur to me because I see Kirsten Vild, and so I, I go, you know, and I get, and it, it took a second to sort of realize, I was like, no, that's, that's the respect of, of where we've been, because there's no way she's ever let me win, <laughs> you know, like, that's just not happened. Um, so I hope that that was the right moment, that we have, like, we had our final fight, um, and that, that's the, the kind of the changing of the guard, or can you say that about yourself? Does that sound bad as well? But it was, um, it, it was just hopefully authentic <laughs> um, and so a, a really special moment. This year is very different, isn't it? We've got, we've got quite a different field. What are you expecting from your competitors this time around? Yeah, so last year we had Kirsten Vild as multi-time Omnium World Champion uh, and Nettie Edmondson, multi-time Omnium World Champion. Um, and this time we have the Olympic Champion in Jennifer Valente and the two times prior to that Olympic Champion in Laura Kenny. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's sort of some in, some out. <laughs> um, and I'm certainly not in the same form I was last year, but that's always the case, you know, that you turn up to different races and different people have had different builds. So um, I'm quite, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm keen to try some different things. I don't think anybody's going to be watching this before we race. Um, I've, been, uh, I've been at Glasgow Track League a couple of weeks ago um, trying to feel the track in a way that, that maybe opens some doors. I, I don't know why I'm talking so cryptically, it's not that special, I'll just, I will attack. <laughs> At some point, I'll attack. <laughs> um, and we'll see, yeah, we'll see what happens. Do you know, I can't be the only one who's ridiculously excited about watching you and Laura in particular. Such teammates for such a long time and for most of your career. What will that be like to, to take her on? And, and she was one of the ones cheering you on in the stand last year, of course. Yeah, yeah, well it's actually, it was, very recently um, that she was scratch race uh, Commonwealth champion and that I found a really emotional race like to I don't know to feel that and like when you because for me it felt like you could see if this was a Laura I, that I know you know from two laps out you're like she can win this you know and you get that excited way of like is this is this her because if it's her she can win it she can win it and 
to be so invested in something. Um, so I guess it's a bit of a shame I won't get to watch. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's weird when we race against each other. There is obviously something quite uh, personal, I suppose, because we know each other so well. Um, that if that if it's a dig in the elbow from Laura, it's a bit like, but, but. <laughs> so um, that's always a, another layer, um, and it's just one to go on with. Does it change in any way how you race each other, knowing each other so well and knowing how each other race so well? Because as you say, if you're watching, you'll be able to tell from two laps out if she's going to win or not. If you're in the middle of the race, how does that change things? Mm, it's the kind of thing you can always observe in other people. Um, and you're, you're always convinced, like I'll shout with my teammates, of like, there's somebody else in the race, you don't want to beat them as well. You know, like that kind of bit that you, you, you can always, you're aware of the spot on your face and not on other people's, but this is the, the inverse that you are. Uh, yeah, you kind of um, <laughs> convinced that I'm racing like I always would. Why are you doing this? <laughs> um, and so I'd, I'd, I'd hope that I'm above it. But I can't tell. You can't tell, can you? <laughs> Having experienced all of this once and won it all once, what are you looking forward to over the next five rounds of racing? Um, I would like to win a scratch race. I did win, I won one of the scratch races last, last time. Um, and I understand that all 17 others would probably like to win a scratch race but um, that, that would be my big, that's my, my goal here is to like have a solid result that, that requires a bit of sensible <laughs> or just maybe just common sense, <laughs> maybe even rational thinking, just some common sense and come out with a scratch race win. You say you're nervous right now, when does that switch and what does that switch feel like? Um, it's not to the whistle because uh, there was one round last year where something happened with Yumi Kachara's bike, right? Um, and I don't know if alarm bells, she looks so calm on the outside and she's just got to sit there and somebody gets her and I'm on the fence and I'm freaking out for her. I'm like, like my arm's shaking and I'm like, what's gonna happen? Are you, have you got a spare wheel? I don't know, has she got a spare wheel? Are we? <laughs> and there's like the TV schedule and it's, yeah, no, it's, you've got to, we go, the whistle, everything's fine. And I know that you do like to study races that you've done and competitors and all the rest of it. Have you looked back on any of last year's races and anything you'll maybe do a little bit differently? I had to do one of them on camera for the for the documentary scene, um, and that was uh, I don't know that was because there's obviously other people in the race, and when I write my notes, they're not public, <laughs> you know. <laughs> there's some like emotional stuff goes in there. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. I've not been as attuned to my homework as I normally would coming into this event. I'm slightly underprepared, both physically, mentally, and um, but I made it on time for this interview. So, start as I mean to go on.